we want to shift from wine to sugar. But I don't know whether that's, I don't know how wine, but matter sugar in the western part of Kenya. And as I told you earlier, we have my colleague, uh, Willie Lisige, on standby. Willie, what is the update? How are the farmers feeling in regards to what is happening uh, to Mumia sugar? Currently, there is mixed reaction because we know there are plans underway to be able to privatize Mumia Sugar Company that has not crushed cane for the last two to three years, which most probably was good news for the sugar cane farmers within Mumia's area and even the entire western region because we are aware that Mumia's was one of the giant sugar millers, actually the biggest in East Africa back in the days. But because of maybe debt and a lot of issues and politics, it has not been able to crush cane for the last two years. And we are aware that uh, because of the debt it owes to KCB. It was put under receivership, but we recently saw the government coming up out clearly, calling on investors to be able to give all out their, maybe their proposals if they can be given an opportunity to run the company as a private entity. And uh, for the last two weeks we've had a lot of troubles here because the government had decided to give the right ownership or the opportunity for the owner of Devki Steel Millers, who is known as uh, Narendra Raval is also into the cement industry. We know him as an industrialist. And what happened after the government declared that he was going to get the opportunity to run Mumia Sugar Company and be able to revive it with a budget of 5 billion shillings, then we have seen a lot of politics and troubles coming on board where leaders from the entire Western region are divided into two. We have those ones who are supporting the move by the government to privatize it and give it to Raval, but there are also others who are saying, no, this is not the right time they feel that maybe other bidders were left out even though they had the muscle to be able to run Mumia Sugar Company as a private entity. And that's where we have seen also members of the public, the farmers coming on board and saying whatever happens should happen but what they want is to see Mumia Sugar Company being able to roll back to production, crushing cane and even producing sugar as the other old days where Mumia Sugar searches will not miss in any supermarket or in any shop, something that that has now turned into a dream. So, so far yesterday, we saw the ANC party leader, Salim Amdavadi, and other leaders allied to ANC questioning the move for the government to decide on why Raval would take over Mumia Sugar Company. They are saying they feel the vetting and tendering process was not done in open, openness. They feel that the people of Western were left outside the whole uh, privatization process, and they are saying they are calling on the government to redo again the process and be able to vet all the other investors because we know there are so many other investors who had come on board to be given a chance to run Mumia's sugar company. But uh, the sugar cane farmers are saying whatever they want, to, all they want to see is to be able to sell their cane to Mumia's and to see it roaring back to production of sugar cane. But on the side of Raval, he has said he has good intentions for Mumia's sugar company. He has said he has set aside 5 billion shillings to inject into Mumia's. 4 billion will go to maybe buying more of equipments. We know that this company has not been able to produce sugar for around two to three years, which means most of the parts are faulty. He said he wants to buy more infrastructure and one billion shillings will go to sugarcane farmers as incentives and also as a kickback so that to allow them to be able to go back to farming and produce more cane. So we are still waiting to see what the government will do, if it will continue with the process of privatization and apart from that also if Raval will be given the chance to continue running the Mumia Sugar Company and use that five billion to be able to make it draw back to its normalcy. Because so far the economy of Western region has been highly affected by the process of Mumia Sugar Company not being able to crash Ken again. Noah. All right. Thank you very much, Willie Lusige. Detailed information in regards to Matters Mumia Sugar. Now Moving on swiftly, COVID-19 pandemic and their restrictions to control its spread have reminded the world that broadband internet is a basic need and a human right.